Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. So today is a massive Harry Potter shopping haul and I've had some items sent to me as gifts as well. So I wanted to show you these and get kind of excited because there are some noble collection items in this and some platform nine and three quarters items as well and some items that have been well handmade so it's exciting. So if you'd like to see what I have to show you today then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is something I bought on eBay to go on my Dolores Umbridge shelf. Um, it's really, really cool, actually. I don't know how much I paid for this. I'll have to have a look. But it is so wicked. It is the letter that Dolores Umbridge sends to the Minister of Magic. Cornelius Fudge. Isn't it beautiful? So this is only, I think about 99p or something on eBay. So it's only cheap. It is so good, isn't it? It's just such a beautiful piece. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet, but I'm going to put it up there on her shelf. So it's all lovely. And don't forget, you can still get hold of my pin. You won't need any ink, which is still available. Check it out below. It's limited edition and they won't be around forever. So I've also had some lovely items sent to me from the Leaky Cauldron HP on Instagram. We have little bags. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I just like to a video where it's all smooth. <laughs> okay, let's try again, shall we? So I've had these gorgeous bags sent to me from the Leaky Cauldron HP on Instagram. I will put the links down below for you. And inside, honestly, these, I'm not even burning them. And this house smells so strong of these wax melts. They are little... <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> oh my god, I just inhaled some string. Oh, that felt horrible. Just checking it's still not there, you know. I might, I don't know, sneeze it up later. Oh my god, I won't be... Just, <laughs> I'm too scared to sniff, sniff it now. Right, okay. So these are little, little wax melts. This one is Yang Yang. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know, so I'm not good. I have already burnt one, um, which we still have burning three days later. It's on the stairs in a little, a little like a bowl, um, a little uh, uh, essence bowl. I don't know what you call them, burners? I don't know, but it was a Harry Potter, no, was it a little Ron Weasley character? And it's a uh, sherbet lemon smell. Oh my God, the smell through the house is unbelievable. Um, I know you can mix these as well, because. I've had I've had something like this before forget me not this one is the smell is beautiful but I have got so many this is bubblegum not so keen on bubblegum smell so look, what's this one this one makes me laugh because look at it you can instantly tell what shape that is it's obviously a chocolate frog it says candy floss frog on the back so that smells beautiful I love the bags look at those bags Isn't it gorgeous so I have two bags full of wax smelly things, wax kind of melt things. Um, and again, I will put the links down below for you. I don't know how much they are. Oh, what's this? Okay, so we have, I haven't looked in this one yet. So this is Tutti Fruity. The smell is so beautiful. What's that? It's a blooming great big slab of something. Oh wow, it's like a chocolate bar. Toasted marshmallow. Oh my god, that smells beautiful. Hang on, we've got another one. Oh, lilac. Oh wow, I love that. That's so cool. Just don't eat them. They are not to be ingested, okay? They are to be melted on like a, a an oil burner. Um, I think you can buy the wax melts things, can't you? But um, wouldn't that be just so lovely to have them? They're so strong smelling. They're gorgeous, I love them. So I am also a member of, is it Lo Looney Lunicorns? Lunicorns which is Lit Joy. I'm a, a monthly member of Lit Joy and um, I'm waiting to subscribe to their boxes. But every Tuesday they do like a £10 deal thing and I received these for £10. This one is the Weasley wedding invitation for Bill and Fleur's wedding and then this one is the invitation to Slughorn's Christmas party. Now I haven't opened them yet. 
I'm a bit nervous. I don't want to ruin the wax seals because they're so beautiful. You know me and my wax seals. I love my wax seals. Can I? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. So this is the this is the Christmas party. Oh wow! Look at the foiling on that. That is beautiful. Oh my life! That is gorgeous. You are cordially invited to a, Christ to a Christmas party inspired, sorry, hosted by Professor Slughorn, or sorry, Professor H-E-F Slughorn, uh, December the 20th at 8 p.m. The party will take place in Professor Slughorn's office at the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. How beautiful is that invitation? Don't know where it's gonna go, but it's gonna have to go somewhere, because that is stunning. So I'll put that there for now, but we have that one and then obviously we have the wedding invitation. So I'm going to show you that one now. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Look at how sparkly that is. Look at that. That's beautiful. Mr. and Mrs. Weasley request the honour of your presence at the marriage of Fleur Isabel Delacour to their son, William Arthur Weasley. First, uh, Friday the 1st of August, 1997, at 6 o'clock, the Borough, Devon, England. How beautiful is that? Stunning. I love them. They're such colourful, colourful, colourful items. And of course, the foiling is gorgeous. Now, I'm not at that stage yet where I'm that good. My foiling is still being very much learnt. Um, but I do love doing the foiling. It's so much fun and makes everything so much extra pretty. So I also have, also, I also have two parcels from Platform 9 and 3 quarters, um, which I ordered a couple of days ago and arrived really fast. So I've already cut this one by accident. I didn't mean to, it just happened. I love their wrapping, it's so beautiful. Obviously I know what I've got. I don't like doing this though because I really love their packaging and I want it to look good forever. So yes. So let's have a look. I think I don't know if you can guess what it is from the size. Again, I got 20% discount because I'm a Wizarding World Gold member. You can be in America and in the UK. For now, I'm sure it'll spread once everything has calmed down. And I don't mean coronavirus, as in spreading. Um, but yes, I am a Wizarding World Gold member, so I got 20% off. Now I bought these and I was pretty sure I wasn't going to use them because I like collecting them but I bought two for a reason so I bought two lots of Harry Potter wrapping paper now if you want to see this they are on platform nine and three quarters but it is absolutely gorgeous so obviously they're fully licensed because it's platform nine and three quarters so we've got the Hogwarts crest one there and then we have the Harry Potter silver lightning bolt one there so you can imagine how gorgeous they would be under a Christmas tree or being given to somebody for their birthday but I don't know I don't know if I'd use them I like them I like my wrapping paper I've got so much of it the only thing with this is it doesn't say there looks like quite a lot on this roll and they're very heavy so uh, yeah, um, I'm not sure how many, maybe three meters perhaps, but um, very beautiful indeed. And then we move on to the last parcel from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and we still have Noble Collection left. Now this is chock-a-block of stuff, including some sale items because they've got a sale on at the moment. I was going to go onto the Harry Potter, uh, Harry Potter Warner Brothers Studio Tour website because uh, I wanted to get some stuff from there. But I am going there in October, October the 3rd, and I can't wait. So excited to go back home. Right, so we have lots of things in here. Now this one I'm going to show you is an exclusive to the Wizarding World Gold members. But because of the amount we love the Weasley Wizard Weas products, I had to show you what I bought from their shop. They did have more than this, but unfortunately these are the last design t-shirts that are left. We have a Weasley Wizard Wheeze t-shirt. How awesome is that? I love it. Tongue toffee, electric shock shake, boxing telescope. We obviously, we hear that about that one in, uh, is it Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince? Doesn't Hermione get punched in the face by it? 
and the extendable ear. I actually have one, but it's in the attic and I can't find it anywhere. But this is awesome. And of course it is officially licensed, but isn't that gorgeous, that t-shirt? And we have obviously the um, all important Wizarding World on the back there. But these are exclusively only available to Wizarding World Gold members. And of course you get a discount on them as well. I have brought quite a few t-shirts. This one, I had to get this one because I love the house of Mean and Lima very, very, very much. Now this this has been a while available. This has been available for a while, but I really do love the pattern on it. It is a platform nine and three quarters t-shirt, but it is the design of platform nine and three quarters by Mina Lima, Mirafora Mina, and Eduardo Lima. And obviously we have the all important ticket to say it is designed by Mina Lima, platform nine and three quarters. Kings Cross Station, London. These have been available for quite some time and are probably available on their website as well as their shop and uh, on the website of Platform 9 and 3 quarters. But this is lovely. I'm not sure, too keen on the colour here, but it's the actual pattern I really, really, really like. But that's such a lovely design. And then of course, we have the all important label on the inside as well. Now. I love the idea of having new t-shirts to work. I love the idea of having something different because the colors are so beautiful. Now I've actually ordered a lot of t-shirts from Geek Gear, which I'm still waiting for them to arrive. I know they're busy, but I was hoping they'd arrive by now. Um, but unfortunately they haven't yet. So I'm, I'm eagerly awaiting them. This is the last t-shirt I bought from Platform 9 and 3 quarters. This one was on sale. Now I have lots of Harry Potter t-shirts, but I don't have many Ravenclaw ones. This was down to 12 99 from 20 pound. So it's really nice. These are all XL, obviously, because I like getting the larger t-shirts, but I just had to have it because it's on sale. And of course I am a proud Ravenclaw. They are currently having a sale on some pin badges as well. So I did go a little bit overboard because some of them were only like one pound 50. I had a Ravenclaw pin badge just there, that was £1.50, down from £3.95. I had a chocolate frog pin badge from £4.95, I think this was down to £1.50 possibly, I can't remember which ones were on sale. This one was definitely on sale and I wish I'd kept it because I gave mine away in a raffle to raise money for Lumos, and like I did with loads of my charms back then, we're talking about the... the Yule ball that I did in nine in two thousand nineteen in two thousand and seventeen, and it is the gorgeous Niffler pin badge. This was seven pound down to I think one pound fifty or one seventy five. Again, I had more discount off that being a Wizarding World gold member. And then this one is absolutely beautiful. I love the platform nine and three quarters pin badges when they look like these. They are so pretty. This was three ninety five. I don't think this one personally was on sale. I don't actually know why I bought more pin badges. I have no room, but I wanted them. I wanted them. It was like a drug. And then I had this one was down to one pound fifty. This was seven pound. This is the Muggle Worthy pin badge from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Isn't that beautiful? So I definitely, definitely had to get that one. And then the last item was from Noble Collection. I put a list a thing in to ask when this item was going to be available, and I had the email a couple of days ago. Did I say platform nine three quarters or Noble Collection? I said Noble Collection, didn't I? Just check it. Oh my god, I'm so special. Now this box is incredibly light. So you'll see what's in it now. You ready? That is so cool. I now I've, I've been meaning to get this for a while, but it's the fact that I found out that it was plastic. And you know how much we love plastic. But I don't quite understand why it is plastic. It is of course Mad Eye Moody's flask. Now of course we see this in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire when it contains Polyjuice Potion as he's pretending to be Mad Eye Moody but in fact he is Bertie Crouch Jr. Then we later see it in 
Deathly Hallows part one, when Mad Eye puts a little, oh sorry, uh, Hermione puts a little bit of Harry's hairs inside, which contains Polyjuice Potion again, and instead of the Polyjuice Potion turning green and like sick, as we hear about in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the Harry's Polyjuice Potion actually turns liquid gold. So it is very, very, very lovely, the idea of having liquid gold in this, but maybe not Polyjuice Potion, because as much as I love Harry, I don't particularly want to turn into him. But this is Mad Eye Moody's flask. Now it is plastic. I don't know if it is usable. I would say not. There is no way of taking that top off. So it is not something I would say you could personally use. And I don't know what the metal is because you could rust it. Uh, you could ruin it, it could contain toxins that you really shouldn't drink. Of course, in the film, it's meant to be like, I think, leather, um, which is lovely, because obviously you can see the detailing down the side there of what looks like leather stitching. Of course, this is plastic. This, I think, is £29. I will try and put the link down below for you. It's very nice, but it's it's very cheaply made. So I got it because I... I they keep selling out of them and when I think of selling items selling out I think maybe they're coming to an end. Now I have been wrong about that in the past, um, a couple of items that keep selling out they keep bringing back in stock, uh, maybe it's because they need to find another uh, manufacturer which has been fair enough with some of the items in the past. So I got it because it kept going out of stock. I don't think I would have personally bought it if I'd known how cheaply made it was it is incredibly cheaply made i'm um i'm a bit disappointed by it i'm glad i've got it i'm not gonna lie i'm glad i've got it but i am a bit disappointed with how cheaply made it is now of course inside obviously you can see the mechanisms and everything and guarantee when this goes out of stock as in completely gets discontinued people are going to go crazy for it because that's what happens to noble collection items um, as soon as something becomes dis uh, unavailable like Dumbledore's knife pocket knife for example then everyone goes completely crazy for it but this is different I don't know I'm giving you my honest opinion and I'm not 100% sure if I like it I'm glad I bought it I'm not gonna lie about that but I don't think it's worth the amount of money. The head's really wobbly as well, so it's like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Have any of you got this one? It's nice to have as a keepsake. I'm glad I bought it. You can't like a display it anywhere though, can you? It doesn't really go anywhere. Um, I'm glad I bought it, but I am disappointed with the quality. I gotta be honest. I'm sorry, but you know. But then saying that, I haven't wanted to get Dumbledore's cup. Um, I mean, I'm starting to kind of pull towards it now a little bit, his uh, beautiful goblet, um, the gold goblet, because that's made of plastic. But then I was speaking to someone on Instagram a couple of days ago, and they say they've got it, and they thought the same thing, And but when they look at it, it looks beautiful, and they're really glad they bought it. I don't know, I may invest in it sometime, but not yet, I don't think. So out of all of these items, what was your favourite? I've got to say... I think I've got to say my favourites were the invitations from Lit Joy and the Weasley Wizard Weez t-shirt. I think those are my favourites from this shopping haul. I'm glad I got everything though. I mean, I'm really, really lucky. So, and the wax melts because they smell amazing. I can smell them from here. They're gorgeous and they're nowhere near me. But everything else has been, it's been really nice. I'm glad I bought it. But that flask, that flask has disappointed me a little bit. I'm a little bit disappointed. It doesn't look like it costs much to make. This is only about two pound more expensive than this, and the quality of this is just, I would have paid about 15 pound for that, I think, maximum. So yeah, I'm quite surprised at that. I know a lot of people are getting excited about it. Um, they really, really like it. It's like the wand and the staff and so on. They're all really lovely items. But this one, yeah, I'm not, I'm not very impressed with this at all. I'm quite disappointed. And the head of it is fine. I think the head of it is okay. It's the body that I'm not a fan of. So yes, um, what did you think? 
let me know please I'd love to hear from you and until next time I love you all take care and I'll speak to you very very soon Check out more of my content, take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.